All right, welcome everybody. Today, I just wanted to give you sort of a real world test of the uh, 980 Ti graphics card. And uh, you know, you see a lot of frame rate videos and things like that, but I don't really play games. I'm, I'm more of a director, editor. And so I just wanted to see some performance gains um, in Premiere and also DaVinci Resolve, which we're in right now. I came from a GTX 770 card, so moving up to the 980 Ti, I was curious to see how much, you know, what benefits that it would be for me. And I don't have the benchmarks or anything from the previous card, so sorry about that. Today, we're dealing with a very short 4K clip. Um, this is a band that I shot in Hollywood, California. I wanted to see uh, how well Resolve could handle some noise reduction and see what frame rates we could get out of it. Before we move on here, I just wanted to show you. So these are my basic um, video drives. I have two three terabyte striped drives, uh, you know, for six terabytes. And this is the speed that they're running at, um, you know, that first run was 323 megabytes a second write and uh, 346 read. Now we're at 352, 3. So they're not, they're, they're fast, but they're not SSD fast. So I'm not running some super duper system here. This computer is four years old, it has 32 gig of RAM. Um, so this is not specifically built uh, for just video editing. It's an all-purpose computer. So anyway, I wanted to share the, my results or let you see what I was getting for speed out of this and, and hopefully it would help you make your decision whether the 980Ti is you know, Ti would work for you. So first off, I'm going to go over here to Temporal Noise Reduction. I'm going to set it on 1 and I'm just going to put the Luma at 15. And if we play that, we can see, you know, it's bouncing between 13 frames a second, 14 frames a second. And this is 4K footage shot on the Blackmagic 4K camera and um, in 422 at 23.97. So that's, that's all right. If we blow it up. I mean, there's still some noise in there, but you know, it's not a, it's not a noise reduction tutorial. It's just uh, showing you how fast this thing can go. So I'm going to turn up the Luma to three. I think that takes out a good amount of the noise. So we went from 13 frames. Now we're running between seven, eight. You know, it's ping ponging between seven and eight frames a second. That's with temporal noise reduction running and spatial noise reduction. And uh, I was going to do a screen capture of this whole thing, but I decided to just shoot it with the camera instead um, because it was taking away a lot of the juice from the card, capturing the, the 4K monitor. This is a 4K monitor, by the way. So I didn't want to uh, take anything away from the card by doing that. So we're getting about seven or eight frames a second in 4K footage. Yeah, it's only got one note on it, but let's go ahead and add some more notes. Uh, let's just do some basic, just pull down the lax or whatever. I'm just fooling around here. So with a second note added on, it's still doing seven or eight frames a second. Let's just throw another one on. And I don't know, we'll change the offset on this one. Something ridiculous. It's still doing seven or eight frames. We'll just keep adding nodes on until it, uh, <laughs> until it can't go any further. Um, this one will bump up the gain, whatever. Still running at seven or eight frames. So that, you know, that's, that's all right. It's, it's not terrible. So let's, uh, where was that noise reduction? Okay. So I'm going to get rid of the 
Luma channel, noise reduction on both of these. Let me see. You know, now it's running 4K footage with four nodes at 24 frames a second. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to add another node on here. Oops. And we'll turn up the gain and pull down whatever. And it's, it, you know, it's still fr running at 24 frames, which is pretty cool. Let's add some noise reduction on this last one. Just why not? We're here. So you have some temporal noise reduction. You have five nodes and it's running at about 12 or 13 frames a second. I did want to add that um, I am running the, where is it? This guy here? There we go. There we go. Uh, I am running the MSI Golden Edition. So it is a little bit faster than the stock card. Right? As you can see, it's running at 1,366 megahertz. So that probably helps a little bit. I just wanted to keep you on the loop on that. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this and come back and I'm going to run some uh, an HD clip for you and see what we can do for noise reduction on that and adding some nodes on there and just to see how far we can go with it. So I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, I'm back. And this time we're running an HD clip uh, shot in uh, 422 at 24 frames, 23.97. So, let's see what we can do. There's some noise. I don't know if you can see that uh, or not, but let's add some Luma noise reduction over here. And that's playing at 24 frames a second. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to add some spatial noise reduction. Just three, I don't know, something, something not ridiculous, but and it's playing that back at uh, 24 frames as well. So that, that's kind of cool. You have some, I'm going to blow this up for you. You have some pretty good noise reduction there on an HD clip uh, playing back in real time. Let me know what you guys have for results. I don't know if, <laughs> if these these good results, bad results. I really don't know. I try to read up on it, but until you see it firsthand, go. I know you probably wouldn't put your noise reduction on the first node here, but for this, for these purposes, it's fine. So on this one, I'm just going to add, we'll just, whatever, add some gamma and gain and offset and off we go. So we got two nodes running with still all that noise reduction playing in real time. Again, another serial node. So we have three nodes with the noise reduction, all playing back at 24 frames, still real time. And I'm going to add another node, do some other stuff to it. Still playing back in real time. Let's add a fifth node. Still playing back in real time. So let's add another node. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You like purple? That's great. So it's still playing back in real time, which is cool. Let's add another node. Do something with the gamma, the gain, play that back. It's still playing back in real time. Let's add yet another node. It's still playing back in real time. So that's pretty cool. I mean, we have uh, how many nodes going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get up to 10 for why not? 
So again, it's playing back at 24 frames, still real time. Let's add another node. And again, it's playing back at 24 frames. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's add some sharpness. See if that does it in. Nope, still playing at 24 frames. Let's add some blur into this one node. Nope, still 24 frames. Let's add some blur onto this note. Still 24 frames. So that's pretty good. And we have 10 nodes going. We have real time noise reduction. We have sharpening. We have blur going. We have 10 color corrected nodes in an HD clip, all playing back in real time. So again, you let me know. Is that good? Is that bad? I think it's pretty cool. I think that uh, you know, I do a lot of 4K stuff, and I do about half you know HD stuff. So that is not too shabby, I would say. So please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to run some other tests. Maybe I'll add a second card in here and see how that does. Uh, I mean, for HD, we can't really do too much better. Um, if for 4K, we could certainly do better. So I'm going to run some rendering tests afterwards, and I'll post that video as well. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.